Hey, and welcome to this tutorial video where I'm going to go over Unbounce Google Ads conversion tracking troubleshooting with you. So there are some known issues that I'm going to resolve today and hopefully it'll resolve your issue because you might not be seeing Google Ads uh, conversion showing up on your Google Ads dashboard. And I've been there. I've used Unbounce. It's a great landing page software at our agency. We still use Unbounce for a select few clients, but we have moved away to a different landing page software. But in this video, I know that there was a struggle at one point where I needed to get this solved as well with Unbounce. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this known issue of conversion tracking. Okay, so I got a demo account here for you, a campaign, carpet cleaning, and you might in your own campaign say hey i've set everything up i've set my landing page conversion tracking up correctly uh via unbounce and i followed some tutorials on how to set up my conversion tracking codes etc uh, and i've placed my global google tag in the header section of all my landing pages uh, on unbounce and i've put the event snippet uh, on the thank you page but still the conversion is not being counted when I launched my campaign on Google Ads. And I'm here to show you exactly why that is, okay? So in order for me to explain this, uh, you gotta understand how Unbounce works when it comes to reading code. So here's the main problem, and this was the, the light bulb moment. If you actually take a look at the Unbounce uh, support docs, etc. Uh, it's pretty complicated, but what you'll eventually find is that the way uh, the scripts are fired, uh, the JavaScripts, which that's what these Google tag codes are, uh, the way that they're fired is the first line of order that gets fired is the variant scripts. So think of the variant scripts as the actual scripts that go on the landing page uh, code editor. Just put that in the back burner for now. And number two, secondly, is the actual uh, global scripts. Let me explain. Here's Unbounce, carpet cleaning company. We have a landing page and a thank you page. So our mistake when we first noticed that conversions for form submissions were not working on Unbounce was when we realized that we were using the script manager to insert the global site tag. And that's what was causing the issue. So you cannot do this Unfortunately, you cannot go here and call this a, a script like a global site tag and have it apply to all your pages on Unbounce. It would be nice if this worked correctly, but Unbounce hasn't fixed this known issue uh, for Google Ads, uh, people who are using their platform for Google Ads. So if, if your conversion uh, event snippet code isn't being registered on Google Ads dashboard. This is exactly why. What you need to do instead of putting your global site tag on the uh, custom script manager here is number one, if you already have uh, your script here globally, uh, take it off, remove that script, delete it. And then what you're going to need to do is go on to the actual landing page. So we'll open both of these. Give me one second. All right, so when you're back on, okay, so I have the landing pages pulled up here and under JavaScript, this is what I'm gonna have you do to fix this issue. Create a new JavaScript tag and call it global site tag. And this is where you're gonna install your actual global site tag that Google Ads is providing you in under conversion, uh, under conversions. So you're gonna to need to put that on your actual landing page or any page that you wanna track in the head section. Okay, that's number one. And now you should have a thank you page, right? Uh, when someone fills out the form, they're gonna to go to that thank you page and we need to edit the scripts of that thank you page on Unbounce as well. Okay, so we are on the thank you page and over here under JavaScript, we have the form event snippet, right? But you see here, the form event snippet is here, but on top, uh, right above it, I should say, the global site tag 
is also included. You must include the global site tag above on the thank you page so that it register, Unbounce registers it first, sees that, okay, this is a page that I'm tracking also. It scans, the bot scans it, like the Google bot, right? And then uh, then it reads there. there's an event snippet here and that's pretty much it. That's how you would go ahead and track unbounced Google ads conversions for form leads if you're setting up Google conversion tracking in this manner. Okay, so to recap, you don't wanna be using the unbounced script manager for your global site tags because it's a known issue and it's not going to show on Google ads. Make sure to include it on every single landing page on unbounce that that's going to be interacted by people who are visiting your Google Ads campaign. Okay, it's as easy as that. And on the thank you page, make sure to include the global site tag code and the event snippet code, and you'll be good to go. All right, that does it for this video. If you got value from it, do leave us a like on this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel where we talk about Google Ads, uh, Facebook ads, agency life, and improving our campaigns to get more leads for our clients. And if you have questions about Unbounce and getting conversion tracking just right, do leave us a comment uh, or a question in the comment section below, and we'll go ahead and answer that. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.